can I just see a show of hands? Do, who knows what an NFT is? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. right. We're at the Power Player Summit here in Los Angeles talking to business leaders about the future of NFTs. NFTs, aka non-fungible tokens, are unique digital collectibles that can range from anything like tweets to memes. And now, athletes? Baron Davis is a two-time NBA All-Star player turned serial entrepreneur. He says the attraction to NFTs for athletes is all about ownership. For the first time, athletes have a, a, an opportunity to have ownership in what they've contributed to a greater sport. Our memorabilia and cards or things like that, anything we sign, we've never like owned that industry. Mm -hmm. And so I think that athletes, you know, with their own collection of memorabilia, with their own collection of content, actually have the opportunity mm -hmm. to like realize their value within their own collection. So for us, it was like, give the keys to the athletes. People have been defined by the brands that give them money or the moment in their career or the incident that happened. And I think now it's, it's, it's more important to like own that narrative. The athlete can own their own narrative and own your own community. Then when you're looking at corporate responsibility, right? Monique Brown is a leader of a foundation that among many other things, works to preserve the legacy of her Hall of Fame husband, the former running back, Jim Brown. That includes branching into, you guessed it, NFTs. It was important for Jim and I to be in this space because there's so much history that we could share with the current generation. And I felt like there's parts of his legacy that are not just solely football, but lacrosse and activism and movies and time, moments in time that he has stood up for, for mankind. It's very, very important to read the smart contract because the NFT by itself is not the greatest value. It's the contract behind it, because those are where all the transactions are happening. The fine line, the details, and the contracts. Contracts can't be altered, you know, they're coded, and you have to have permission on both sides for it to be, to be changed. So in that sense, it's very ironclad, it's very good. The hope is that NFTs will not only help athletes take ownership of their own image identity, but also reset the power balance for those in earlier stages of their careers. Helps college a lot because it goes back to um, the old indention servant feeling, almost. You know that that you work for us and 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 you can't make anything off of what you've done. Think about these kids; they don't they don't have money and they don't they don't have an income. It's not like a job, but it is a job because when you play a sport, I use my sport football. You know, you got you try to play football and go to class. That's very difficult. And so when you think about athletes' rights and rights management and, you know, licensing deals with leagues, it's like these companies are coming and becoming billions and making billions and billions of dollars. And there's some athletes that are, you know, that did not play in the era where they made money that are struggling to pay their bills, struggling to pay their medical bills. And so no longer should another company, you know, come in and be able to license any rights for an athlete right without that DAO, that collective you know ecosystem of athletes directly benefiting from it instead of being handled by multiple middle people fans will be able to access athletes in a way that's very personal and very meaningful because there's no filter there's no middleman 